Hello, I'm home. I think I see three people watching. Somebody say hi. And let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Emmy. I'm not having a live sale. No, I'm just unpacking. And I thought I could unpack with you guys and just say hey and catch up with everybody. We'll see if, did you get a notification, I mean, you never know with YouTube. Thanks, Peggy. You making, like literally making handmade paper, Ami? Hi, Sasha. Oh, Halloween party, fun. Hi, Donna, how are you? You know, my husband said to me once, honey, why don't you make paper? And I said, honey, why don't you make paper? <laughs> because I think it probably is a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Yeah, so um, I'll just, very time, I'm sure. I'll just chat with you guys for a second, tell you a little bit about my trip, and we'll see if anybody shows up. And then I'm just going to, thanks, hon. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's a balmy 85 degrees today, which is delightful. It's a little bit humid because it's been raining off and on, but I'm okay with it because I was tired of being in the cold and the snow. Hi, Sheila. Who else did I miss? If I didn't say hi, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little bit jet lagged. I'm not going to lie. See, I think we got home last night around seven. I door dashed some dinner. I popped on to somebody's live last night. I think it might have been Katie's and just said a quick hi to everybody and I fell asleep. I was out. And then I woke up really early this morning because Alaska time is, you know, four hours behind us. And then I decided I better start unpacking. I came home with one suitcase that weighed fit, that was just full of all this yummy goodiness you guys see on the table. Thought my husband was going to kill me. <laughs> what have you guys all been up to? I know, right, Peggy? I know. So I'm just so these I think are like uh, thread or lace spools, right? Wrong. I've never, I mean, I've seen smaller ones. I've never seen any quite this big. Well, okay, Sheba, one suitcase and then my carry-on, it was completely full of books because they don't weigh your carry-on. So I just stuffed all that other stuff in my suitcase and then I made my husband drag the carry-on around. <laughs> it was heavy. I mean, it was just books. For yarn, Peggy? Yeah, but I thought, oh, I want these. I'm, I'm, I might, I might sell. So, who tired, you guys. I might sell one. I don't know. But, or I might keep them for my room. I don't know. Do you, Donna? Oh, I mean, and the, the place, the antique store where I found these was in Anchorage. And she had a lot. But I only got out twice um, while I was in, in Anchorage. No, actually, that's not true. Three times. But twice I went back to the same place, which is it's the Goodwill they have there. And they have a giant Goodwill there. And so I found some amazing things there, mostly books. Um, and then to one vintage market that was really super fun. And then I had some stuff that I had bought um, online before I left that was in the mail today when I got the mail. So that was fun. The spindle would fit into a shuttle. Huh. Who knew? Well, there's only seven people. Did you guys all get a notification or did you just stumble upon me today? Let me, I'm going to send a quick note to Brooke and Susan and let them know. Let them know I'm here. You were notified? All right. Tell me what you guys have been up to. I want to know. You know, I was kind of in and out a little bit. Um, 
like on Facebook and YouTube, but I was, I got so, so very sick. Like the second night we were there. Um, and so I spent the first week like in bed, in bed. Um, I would get up to take the kids to school and I would get up to pick up the kids and then cook dinner and all of that. But yeah, get it in the mail, Donna. And then we will, um, chat via email and we'll fi figure out the particulars. Okay. That's super exciting. You guys, Donna is going to send me a box and I am going to put some of her things in my shop because I want to help her out a little bit because her things are amazing. I know some of you have seen them. If you haven't, you're going to love them, but I want to help her out to sell some of her stuff without the shipping being crazy. Hi, Susan. So She's going to ship to me. I'm going to put in my shop and that way, you know, we can get some of, more of her things sold and it won't be so bad for you guys for shipping. So that's going to be fun. And Susan, will you send Brooke a little message and let her know I'm live? Not saying my linker is broken. I'm just. <laughs> uh... So yeah, so my trip was great. It was cold. I got really tired of wearing shoes and socks and pants and coats and gloves. Yeah, my linker is tired. That's a great excuse. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm really happy to be home. Uh, I still have a bit of a cough, so if I start a coughing attack, I'll, I'll try and mute it. And just a little sniffle. Hi, Deb. How are you? Um. But yes, very, very happy to be home. Very happy to sleep in my own bed last night. Because um, we did, we were 14 days at my daughter's watching the grandkids. And then the day after they got home, we went, um, we flew an hour to interior Alaska. And then we drove two hours to really interior Alaska. And we visited, hi, Laura, there you are. Um, we visited some friends, um, and it's where we used to live uh, for five days, and we drank and we ate for five days. So I'm kind of still trying to repair my liver from that. We had a lot of fun, and then it was uh, about a 36-hour venture to get home because it was two-hour drive to the airport, all that stuff. Betty, hi. I miss you guys. I'm unpacking my suitcases, so I figured... I just better do it with you guys. And then you guys get a sneak peek as soon as I can decide. I'm thinking like Friday or Saturday of what's today? Today's Saturday. Okay. Today's Saturday, Johnny. So Friday or Saturday. Halloween's on Thursday. So I'm thinking a uh, live sale Friday or Saturday, you guys, of all these wonderful goodies that I have piled up here. But again, I'm going to chat for a few minutes. So we can get a few more people in. And if you're replaying this and I'm just yammering on and you don't want to listen to me yammer, then fast forward and you can see all the goodies. What is it? What have you been up to, Betty and Susan? I know I chatted with Susan earlier. She was resting her knees. Laura, I don't think I've seen you online. What's up, girl? What's up with that? Do I need to drag you online with me one day this week? Hmm? Hmm? Because I will. I can do it. I will drag you in here by your toes, sister. Betty's keeping low. You've been tired? Okay. All right. I'll chat with you tomorrow, Laura. Interviewing you for... Oh, oh, really? Really, Susan? Oh, Sheila, you make beautiful things. S Susan, tell tell me more. Did did she get fired or did she quit? What's the what? <laughs> oh no. Your phone went haywire, Laura. It's a poor excuse, Susan, but let, let me let me see what she has to say about it. Let, let me see. I want to hear this story. 
Let's 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 hear Laura's version first. She has a broken phone. Okay. Are we sure? My phone, yeah. Huh. Like zero won't even turn on? Not functional? You you have to Laura, you have to plug it in. You have to, you know, plug it in, Laura, with the plug. Plug it in, girlfriend. She's gonna she's gonna smack you for that one. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, don't leave it out on the porch. You plugged it in. Okay. How about this? Do you have some rice? Go stick it in a bowl of rice for a couple hours. Maybe it got wet. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Don't put water in the rice. Just put it in the rice, in a bowl of rice. You did rice too. Rice. Okay. Uh hmm. All right. You can go live with the iPad. I Susan, I'm trying everything here. All right. Well, if you need a stand in, I think I might be free tomorrow, Susan. Just saying. Yeah, that might be a good idea too, Sheila. All right. Are you guys ready to see goodies? You done listening to me and my little bit of hoarse voice be all Sick sounding. Okay. That sounds good. She has to go to the phone store. All right. Okay. I already showed you guys. My husband thought they were uh, drumsticks. I had to quickly correct him. He says, you're going to pay how much for those drumsticks? I took him with me to the vintage market. Only to carry the heavy things. So, yeah. They're um for like I think they're for yarn, but I'll probably use them for lace. Aren't they cool? Aren't they so cool? Or I could use them to knock him upside the head too. So there's that. I might leave them by my easy chair. Yeah, that's what I hear too, Peggy. We we're, we're thinking about changing phone carriers, and you know sometimes you can get free phones and all that jazz. Um, but if we do, I'll just keep my. I have an iPhone eight. Happy with it? Happy with it. Okay, Deb, we're here. Right? I keep them till they break. All right, you guys. This is one of, well, I'm going to keep saying one of the coolest things. Look at this deck of cards. Hi, Katie. I'm unpacking my suitcases, so I figured I'd unpack with you guys and say hi. I missed you guys. So this is the back side, and I need to do some research and find out how old these are. Aren't they so cute? Donna doesn't have a phone, but they're all different. So if they're old enough, I'm going to scan them first. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to sell them to you girls. Whoops, there we go. At least I think they're all different. I haven't actually gone through them. I suppose I should do that. But I and I'm not gonna flip through like all the books and everything. I'm just want to give you guys a quick. Aren't they? And this I mean this side is cute enough. Seriously, so cute. So cute. You need that. I'm. I'll be selling those flashcards this weekend. Hi, Sandra. I'm unpacking my suitcases and showing you guys what I'm going to have for sale probably next weekend, like Friday or Saturday. So I have, I've got, there's a pretty good stack of two different sizes. And I, I don't know, I don't know about the words on them. It's so funny, like not clock O, stop stool, soap boat, kind of funny, right? Kind of funny. But these are the these ones are the good size. <laughs> Betty, you're funny. I was looking. I got these for a pretty good deal, so they won't be really super expensive. But I was because I want more, and I was looking on eBay this morning. And if they're the true Dick and Jane sets, they're three hundred and fifty dollars for a full set, you guys. I had no idea because I've never had them. But you know, I was trying to do some research on my things. 
but I love these, you know, because they've got the number, they have the big word, the little word. So these are fun. And then there is, I think there's like four or five different sizes. There's a pretty good size stack of this size, right? So fun. So I don't know. I think I'll do some bundles of like 10 and then I'm going to have some cool ephemera bundles for you guys. Um, so I think I'll put these in some of the ephemera bundles also. And then I've got some lace. So maybe I'll um, like wrap a yard of lace around some, you know, do all different. So if, you know, for those of you that want them, want different things, you know, I'll just, I'll use them for packaging too. And so these ones are the ones that have one rounded corner and then three square corners. And these are proper words. 200, I was just looking to see if these had a date. Copyright 1960 on these. So we can't copy those. So that's a stack of flashcards. I want not o'clock. <laughs> I know, so funny. When For those ones, because there's only, there's only a few. Let's see. Yeah, there's maybe 20 of the, these ones. So I might do these by the each so that you guys can like, you know, get the funny word phrases that you want. Party pie, turn nurse, <laughs> men bed. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably do those by the each so you guys can have fun. You need train ephemera. Okay. And then I thought, I'm going to get stuck on these cards for an hour now. Sorry. I thought that it could be fun to make like like a mini, even if it's just a notebook, right? Front and back cover. And then we could, you know, I would do it together with you guys online and show you how. We could put a little spine on there and put tall skinny pages in them. Sheila, frame it. Okay. Anyway, so I thought that would be fun. I thought we could make some little journals out of the tall skinnies. Okay, so there's that. Wow, we've made it through one thing. Okay, I got a bunch. I got a bunch of these. And I think, I don't know if, if, we'll, if I can figure out a way. Oh, look. Yeah, so I've got one stack. Can you guys see? Let me get something. Let me see here. That's a bird. It's like a seagull sitting on a stump. So I got one whole set that's just birds. The wheels are turning, right, Peggy? Yeah, I'll, I'll and I'll keep my eye through my piles for train stuff. So the little, those little dudes, where's my bag? I have more. Yeah, I got, this whole bag is birds. And then... So we have to figure out something fun to do with those in our journals. And then I got, I believe, 20. Hey, L. What else did I miss? I got 20 of the um, metal holders. So I thought, okay, that would be fun for our journals, right? If we could, I thought about putting them, putting them like on a flippy flop. Or one of Laura's flippy flops, and then you could flip it so you could see it, right? I know it's hard. You guys can't see, but. So there's, so I got a bunch of those for you guys. And then I got more. I got, I got more and I got more. So I've got, I got a bunch of those. So we'll have those. And maybe I'll put them in like sets of five or ten with like one or two of the metal plates all right let me catch up here what do you say for the for the viewer sheila i don't know what that means tell me pine cone oh sandra oops are you outside right I, yes i apologize ahead of time peggy i'm sorry i found fun things okay i found wine word search napkins so I thought it would be fun because we could get the words, you know, and we could just cut out the words and decoupage the words. Oh, hold on. I want to 
hang on. I got to get rid of the, I got to close the curtain, but I'm going to look on the back. I think it, I think the back of the napkin, I don't know if it's the back of the napkin or just this one that says the words that are on them. Oh, that would be fun if they're on the back. Yeah, look. Fun. So on the back of each one, there's wine, beer, and cocktails. And it's the full. Oh, cool. There's the beer. There's the wine. There's the cocktails. Fun, right? Uh, Katie, I'm out of the loop. Is someone else selling on Friday or Saturday? I was looking for a day when, and I don't want to, you know, go over the top of anybody. So oh, right yet. Yeah, I got a Donna, I have a stack. Look, I have a stack. And they're little and light. All right, Katie, fill me in if you know if anybody's on or Friday or Saturday. Okay. So these are, let me see if I can find a date, 70, I think these are all from the 70s, oh, there's from some from the 80s, 60s, <clears throat> all right, so 60s, 70s, and 80s. You're selling Friday at 6. Okay. What about, does anybody know about Saturday. Oh, no, you're going over, everyone. I'm catching up. Uh, don't. <laughs> oh, thanks, Peggy. I know, but I don't I don't want to step on anybody's toes. And I know there's so many sales, so it's kind of hard now. So, yeah, so these are going to be fun. Uh, Ethel Jordan. It's funny though because I got these I got these in Alaska and they're from Ohio. And there might be some goodies in the pages are all and there's advertisements. Oh, this one's got a no, I thought it had a flippy flop. So these will be fun, right? Thanks, Laura. Want the work basket one. Uh, all right, let me find it. That one. This one doesn't have a cover. Oh, there's lots of work basket. Oh, look at the baby. Yeah, lots of, these are all work basket, crochet, work basket. This one looks like it might be Christmassy. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, what's in this one? Oh, ooh, ah, it's got a Valentine guy in it. So these are going to be fun. Thanks, Debbie. And hi, Debbie. I didn't see you come in. Uh, work basket one. Look at that. 15 cents. That is not what I'm going to sell them to you guys for. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I know you guys are okay with that. Yeah, so there's tons of these. Tons and tons and tons of these. Last one. Last one. Last one. The Carla. Hi, Carla. What did I miss? What did I miss? Donna, if it was one you were in love with, tell me what's on the cover. What color's on the cover? And I will set it aside for you, sweetie. For those of you that are coming in or just lurking, I'm just back from my trip. I'm unpacking my spaces and showing you guys all the goodies I got. And I'll be having a sale next weekend. Thanks, Carla. I didn't put up many. I was so, so sick. And then by the time I got well and we went to our second stop in Alaska, we were just out eating and drinking for four days. So. <laughs> the one on the bottom. This one, Donna? Oops. Okay, Susan. Tomorrow? What tomorrow, Debbie? You want me to have a sale tomorrow? No. 
too soon. Not ready. Bottom of original pile. <laughs> this one, Donna? Hi, Rosemary. Oh, <gasps> Rosemary's here. Okay, wait. We got to stop everything. We got to stop everything. I got to show Rosemary. Where is it? It's right here in my pile. One minute. One minute. Okay, Rosemary. Oh, hang on. I'm going to shut my door. Honey, what? Sorry, my husband's talking to his mom. <laughs> Rosemary, are you ready? I'm just going to show her the top. Okay, here's the thing, Rosemary. I'll make you a deal. I found this, and I was like, oh, this is for Rosemary. Uh, okay, that's for Donna. All right, I set that aside for you, Donna. Okay, Rosemary, here's your deal, sister. I got this for you, so I'm not going to charge you for it. I didn't pay a lot for it. As long as you're okay with me snitching a few pages out. Rosemary, are you there? <laughs> I want to know she's looking before I show it. Ooh, it's a Japanese country cookbook. There's the front. Here's the back. But these, and it's good, hard for you to see these pages, but the paper is, it almost looks there. I think you can see it. It almost looks like fabric. Can you hear it? Is it wasabi paper? Right? I know. I saw it and I was like, oh, yep. Got to get that for Rosemary. Got to get it. S so cool, right? And I and the red font I thought was really fun. What a name. All right, if I missed anybody coming in, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a joke. Okay, got it. Rosemary, I'm very jet lagged. You have to bear with me. So yeah, I'm just going to snitch a couple of pages out just because I just am in love with the paper. And then I will put it in an envelope to you, sister. Isn't that pretty? Right? It just, yeah, 100%. Rosemary's name all over that one. Okay. Um, you guys saw the work basket book, so we'll move those out the way. I and I found a few, you know, because I'm always shopping for the little books. So I found a few little books. Some of them aren't real, real old, but I thought this one was fun because I thought maybe they'd be cool for like watercoloring and you know, it's got a quote over here. You're so welcome, Rosemary. And oh, Rosemary, when I when I was sitting in my easy chair today, I ordered um, some paper and some inks for um, the uh, paper like marbling thing that you did. So I ordered those. They were in my Amazon cart, but I didn't want them to show up before I got home. So, all right, Carla. So anyway, I thought this one was cute. A, for a tiny book, but B, because, you know, you could color or watercolor the flowers. There's that one. And I like to do full flip throughs. I'm just trying to be quick to show you guys the goodies I got. And I am going to tease you guys. There are some things that I'm keeping, but I want to share and show you. Hello, Mary Lou Swintech, mother-in-law of mine. How are you today? I'm unloading my suitcases. Everybody say hi to mom. So this one, I I might take a part and share with you guys, but it's, oh, the light's funny, but it's, it's, all the edges are deckled and they're deckled, um, no words today, Johnny can't find her words, <coughs> excuse me, one second, <coughs> they're deckled at different 
you know, sizes like we do in our journals. See that like, you can see this green is deckled right there. But there's and there's all kinds of fun. There's vellum in here. So I don't know if I'm going to be greedy or share. You have this book, Rosemary? It's so cool. Look at, and this right here is vellum. See that? It's vellum, and you can see what's behind it. Oh, let me. Yeah, you got that right, Carla. Mama of Mr. Johnny. Yeah, Laura, that's my mother-in-law. I don't think my mom knows how to work YouTube, to be honest with you. But my mother-in-law, it's cool, so she can get into YouTube. And there's like, um, this is kind of, looks like a mulberry paper. And that, to me, looks like an actual butterfly in it, pressed in there. Neat, right? So, you know, I might, I might use it for inspiration. I might take it apart. Waiting on the mailman. Oh, I you know, I used to do peachy cheese all the time, Susan, and I haven't for a while. Yeah, it Mr. Junk Journal Shop. You got that right, Laura. Um, Sheila, you know, I never do videos when I'm out hunting for books. Um thrift stores, vintage vintage markets, estate, estate sales, Goodwill. And if you're doing the Goodwill thing, it depends on what Goodwill, like my Goodwill here locally by me, I will not buy books that because they want anywhere from five to $7. I mean, unless it's something super old and they don't usually have super old stuff. Um, but I get a lot of my stuff from and everywhere I go, they have these because I this I went to one in Alaska when I was there. It's actually where this book came from. It's it I call them vintage market, but it's like an indoor flea market. But what it is is somebody owns the building, and I know Donna, I know Donna, settle down. Um, somebody owns the building, and then they rent out like a twenty by twenty spot, and then you go in and you set up tables and shelves and whatnot. And you bring in your stuff and sell it. So that's where I find a lot of my things because I find vintage markets everywhere. Um, we have a flea market down the street here every Wednesday. I go to that sometimes, but it's really big. And when it's really hot, I just can't walk in that sun all day. Aw, look at that. You have to go outside, Sheila. Oh, well, I wish you did too, Elizabeth. So this one, and the only reason I grabbed this, because I don't usually grab these readers because they're usually very, very expensive. But it was a Christmas one. And so I kind of figured you guys might dig it because it was a Christmas one. And the edges are deckled. And it's got a lot of red. So I grabbed that one for you guys. So the we're going to have that one. I did grab, and I can't decide what to do. I only grabbed these because I got a good deal on them. Um, so I didn't know if I was going to, you know, cut these down, just a bunch of batiks. If I'm going to cut them down, you know, to like 12 by 12 pieces, or if I'm going to cut them up and use them for tying page packs together, or, you know. So if, if anybody is like in love with these, let me know and I won't chop them up or if you guys want, you know, 12 by 12 bundles so you can get a little bit of each, but I got them for a good price and there's, there's all different colors and patterns. So I grabbed those for you guys. on you today Laura and for somebody who if anybody just got here all I'm doing is a show and tell showing you guys that I either got right before I left because some of this I did get before I left or that I got in Alaska or that I bought online and it was here when I got home 
look at this little little box. Isn't it pretty? And it is very old. Ooh ah, ooh ah, pretty. There is a piece off. I'll see if my if Mr. Junk Journal Shop can fix that for us. But the latch is here and it works, and it's got a drawer. So I think I'm gonna fill this with um, ephemera and lace, and we'll auction it off. I, is it Natalie? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me, but it's got the velvety, you know. Um, you know what? It might be a celluloid top because see how it's cracking? There's a crack there and a crack here. Rosemary, are you still here? Rosemary, is that celluloid? This feels, this is, you know, like um, really heavy chipboard. It's not wood. Oh, scan the top. Okay, wait. Let me get a sticky note. You guys always have the great ideas, and I'll forget. I will forget. Whew! It's warm out, you guys. This, this girl is sweating a little bit. Going from 10 degrees to 85 degrees. Rosemary says it is. All right. Scan top. All right, there we go. I'm putting a note in there. I will scan it. Oh, you guys, you guys, because I was so sick on the trip and busy chasing the littles, I didn't have time to do much, but I did make two digital junk journal planner kits. One, I won't be able to kit because I used um, some of Nick's stuff, but I will make some planners with it. And the other one, um, I'm going to have one that's all birds and one that's all flowers. And I will have those guys I'll have those kits ready for you guys, hopefully, by the end of the weekend in my shop. So there will be 2020 planner kits every month of the year calendar and fun pages and whatnot that I made. I did it. I accomplished something while I was gone. All right, let's look at the linens, and then I'll show you guys the books. This one is an apron, and then the pocket is... I, I've never seen a pocket like this. You see how you can go in both sides? Thanks, Laura. Celluloid or lacquered, yeah. I am glad for the weather. <laughs> Susan, not that kind of glove box. Oh, so funny. What's on the yardage? You mean, uh, what's on this? Is that what you're asking about, Carla? Kangaroo pocket. I know. That's a whole lot. That's a whole lot of yummy lace on there, Carla Farrington. Yeah, well, and funny story. Well, funny, not funny. So there's always moose around the house. And we were in the kitchen. And the little one, you know, he's a year and a half. He loves, you know, all the animals. And, uh. So a moose came around the back of the house, and so I ran to the window so the baby could see, you know, and he's going, moose, 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 moose. And so the moose went that away around the front of the house, and in the front of the house, the window almost goes to the floor. So I let him down, and he was standing by the window, and she didn't come around, and she didn't come around, and then she came around. But when she came around that corner of the house, here's the window glass. And baby is standing there on this side of the glass. That moose came around the corner and got literally nose to nose with him. And he flipped out. We couldn't even show him a picture of the moose, of a moose after that. He, not, not so keen on the moose right now. <laughs> moose tried to kiss his face. Uh, then this one's just a pink doily. All right, I'm going to show these quick now. I haven't laundered these or anything. And this one is a table runner with French knots. Where's Brooke? Brooke, are you lurking, Brooke? Schnucky. Brooke Schnucky to the front of the store. I thought these were pretty, different, you know, color. I don't know 
if they're very old, but they're pretty. Here's another apron. Laura, you need another apron. This one's got a pocket. I know, Brooke's probably un unloading the wee haul into the garage. Bless her heart. And I like I, I like this size. Oh, that was pretty. And there's a couple different sizes of those. Oh, Do Donna, sit down. Sit down, Donna. <laughs> These have Donna's name written all over them. And let's see. This one's another runner. So there it is. Oh, sorry. Fold it in half. And I'm sorry if you guys didn't see my table mess. I'm not real organized today. Here's another runner. And it's got pretty lace on the end. Well, hi, cat. What are you doing? I'm home and I'm unpacking in my suitcases with you guys. I just thought I'd show you guys what I got. And we'll have a sale sometime next weekend. This one's gorgeous, I think. Isn't that one pretty? And then there is, I think, four of these ones. So those are a fun. And they've got little, like, diamonds. Oh, and there's a littler one. These need to be laundered. I think we could get Mr. Junk Journal Shop to do some laundry. <laughs> uh, let's not go there. And I haven't undone this to see how many yards of each of these there are. There's three different ones. Let me see if I can get my hand in there. So this one's like, it's a double. It's got two and then some flowers there. Oh, this one's also a double. That one's a double. So I'll probably, um, I think I'll cut these down in, into one yard pieces and wrap them around some of those flashcards and do them that way. Then the girls can't get mad at me for wrapping up Timmy people. And if you guys ask me a question or something I don't answer, please ask me again in caps because I'm, I'm not all here. <clears throat> I got this paper. And at first it, it just looks like yellow paper, but it's real, it's real thin. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, but I liked the color. And so I figured if I'm going to make like, I have some ephemera bundles that I'm going to make for you guys and some ledger page bundles. So I thought maybe I could put one or two pieces of that in each one, you know, just something different. It's, it's like a tracing paper, but it's yellow, if that makes sense. Dotted Swiss fabric. I don't think I've ever seen that. What is it? <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm still sniffly, you guys. Sniffly, sniffly. All right. You guys want to see? Woo! Landslide. Some of the books I got. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I got some books. I did indeed get some books. Hi, Erin. Thank you. I'm unpacking my suitcases and box, and so I figured I'd unpack with you guys. Oh, I, I got these. I thought these would be fun Christmassy napkins. Betty, Laura, look the other way. Napkin alert. Napkin alert. Let's see. Oh, I got, oh, um, Katie. Katie, are you still here? Is it, is it Katie or is it Maddie or both that are Alice in Wonderland nuts? Because I got a really cool Alice in Wonderland book. So I don't find these very often with the, I like these because they have like the shoestring tie. So I found four of these. So I think I'm going to fill these with ephemera and we'll do some ephemera bundles. 
Okay, with those, both. Yeah, I thought it was both of them. They might have to battle. They might have to battle, battle over the Alice book. Peggy, look at, look at Peggy, look at what I got. And then a goat. Oh, are they still, Mary Lou, are they still turning off the electricity? Oh, Dan will have to give me an update when I get on here. And call back, Mary Lou, call tomorrow when I'm not live so I can talk to you. She's in California and they've been, I think they've been turning out law, turning off electricity to save power. I have to get the skinny. You like how I just keep piling up books? <laughs> Peggy's like, torture, torture. See how high I can get this pile. I'm just going to keep going. Ooh, ah, pretty. Yeah, right. Yeah, not fun. Yeah, I'll have to get the skinny from Mr. Junk Journal Shop when I get done here. <clears throat> that blue and gold. Well, okay, so who said that? Was that Natalie? This thing, Natalie, check it out. So I'm not, I'm keeping this one. I'm Some, some of this stuff I am just going to torture you guys. <clears throat> I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take the pages out. I'm going to make a junk journal out of it. But I just saw this on Amazon. So um, if you guys remind me, I'll find you the link. Because look, it's got the cute little buckles. So yeah, I'm just it's just got lined pages in it. Um, so I'll just repurpose the paper, right? But I thought, what a cute junk journal cover it would make. But yeah, I'll look it up on Amazon for you guys. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Deborah. And anybody else I missed? Peggy can't take much more. I'm home. I'm unpacking. And I figured I would unpack with you guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm unpacking with you guys. And we'll have a sale next weekend. This one I don't know if I'm going to sell. This is another. Sorry, not sorry. It is stunning. And a couple of these books, like, sometimes if I pay a lot, a lot for them, you guys, you know, if I can't, if I can't recoup what I paid for them, then I'll just keep them and use them. This one's copyright 1887, and it's, it's music, but it's not, it's not in English. Oh, thanks, Laura. You're about, probably the only one in this house that would say that, but thanks. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Ooh, music paper in the back. Ooh, ah. Fun. Fun. So, yeah, I'm still on the fence about this one. That's a maybe, not maybe. I know, it was in great shape. But it was at the vintage market, and the lady, the lady didn't want to dicker with prices at all. Okay, Peggy. Look at it's it's a bit it's a bit too wizard of Oz. So I gotta do a little bit of research on this guy. Look at them. Aren't they funny? Peggy said stop it. Because the copyright, let's see, the Wizard of Oz, the Bob's Merrill Company, Indianapolis, USA. Boy boy, hold on. Hold, hold on, I gotta get it farther away from my face. Can anybody, let's see if we put it in the camera, but put it focus so we can see the date. It was like, it's either early 1800s or, I, yeah, I think it says 1903. And this looks in way too good a shape to be copyright 1903. But look. Julia, hi, honey. I'm so sorry I didn't get to come see you. I was so sick and so busy and so sick and so busy, and I feel terrible. Oh, 
Uh oh, what I miss? Oh, you will be in our thoughts, Deborah. A hundred percent. Look at look at Toto. Isn't Toto cute? So yeah, I'll do a little bit of research on this, get my magnifying glass out so I can actually see what that says right there. But I mean, unless somebody had it in plastic, the cover, the spine, everything's in perfect condition for it to be that old. Yeah, the littlest. Can you read it? Yeah, I ended up going to, um, Julia, I went to Hydrate AK and got a large IV bag with, they, it was actually the name of it was the man cold bag. It's really cool. You can just walk in and say, I want an IV bag. Your insurance doesn't pay for it. But I was sick enough that I, you think Janice? And hi, Janice. It might have. You're right. All right. I'll do some research on that one. Um, yeah, you could just walk in this place and say, I want an IV bag. And they fill you full of fluids and vitamins. Christina, hi. I'm home. I'm unpacking my suitcase. Where's the Alice in Wonderland girls? Are they lurking? I'm trying to hide my messy desk. Is it working? Maybe. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I, w I saw it and I was like, look it, look it. I wish it was out of copyright because how fun if we could copy it's just that. Yeah, they have them here too, I found out, Laura. In Daytona, they have them. Elizabeth, hi. It's a pretty book. So we'll have that. Yeah, this one's copyright 1983. But I but I was thinking about the Alice girls, so I grabbed it. I love this one of the cat. Darla. Hi, honey. I'm home. I'm a little horse. I'm a lot tired, but I'm, I'm packing my suitcase. So I figured I'd better show you guys. Yes, Rhonda. They have a nurse there. She comes over. She checks your vitals. You pay the money and they hook you right up. Peggy, <laughs> close your eyes. Yeah, where is Dorinda? I then this one. I thought was fun. And let's see if we have a copyright. Yeah, this is copyright 1977 because I would love to copy this. But I can't. But I can't. But So like this has got just a plastic spiral so you could snip those right off. And then you would still have your little holes intact. So cute, right? There's that one. This is a book of postcards, old Boston. So I need a consensus. Should we do the whole book or should I take the book apart? Because they're, you know, in like the vintage photo type color scheme. Should I take it apart so everybody can get some or should I do the whole book? And there, it's copyright 2003, so it's not super old, but super cool. Take apart, whole book, whole book. Oh, boy, you guys are going to take apart. Oh, there's a new name. Oh, I'm not going to say it right. Why? Le 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 oh, I'm trying and I can't keep it together. Lizema? Lazima, Lazama, oh, anyone want postcards? I have tons. Oh, do you have tons of postcards? That is Virginia or Vicky. Thanks, Darla. All right, so we're going to be on the fence about this one. I mean, and, and there's a lot. There's, I wonder if it says how many. Hold on. Hold on, let's see if it tells us how many. It doesn't. Hi, 
Jean, how are you? Keep it together. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, I'm like 97% better than I was. I mean, there were four days that, thank goodness, my husband was with me or um, the uh, children would have been on their own for four days. Thanks, Jean. I'm so happy to be home. All right. And this one, of course, you know, I got it because of the pretty flowers. The cover's brown, but the inside's pretty. And like I said, I'm just doing, I'm not going to show you guys the whole book, so I'm just giving you an idea. There's poetry, there's flowers, there's poetry, there's, you know, it looks like watercolors to me, so I'm all about watercolors. Oh, bye, Al. Have a great day. Yeah, this one's pretty, huh? Wait, what did that say? Something about humidity? That's funny. I was praying for humidity in Alaska. My skin felt like lizard skin. Oh, was Aaron sick? All right, let's see. So these two, they're like, they're soft covered. Like a green, um, I want to say linen. This one is questions and answers, answers for engineers and firemen's examinations. But they're full of all different kinds of charts and big words, you know, big font. So I thought these were fun. Some kind of, because we don't have manly stuff very often. And I'm really going to get on a train of trying to make some manly type journals. So I grabbed those. thought those were fun. And this one is... Adele's new electric library. And I thought this was fun because it has like a paint spattered on the edge. I'm trying to keep up with chat. And it is a, it is electric library, Thomas Elva Edison. So I thought that one was fun. I know it is a cool cover, right? Oh, here's the new electric, oh, new electric dictionary. Or this cover, well, there's a bunch of cool covers. I like, th th this isn't real hard, it's flexible, but I thought it, they were pretty and there's two of them. Practical Business Administration, Commercial Law, American Technical Society. And the corners of the pages are rounded, which I like. Neat, darling. Send me, email me a picture, darling. I want to see. I don't know if there's any illustration. Oh, that's right. Look, that's right. Because I picked it up at first. I was like, eh. Okay, Rosemary. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming in. I'll hug your book. I have to show Darla Rosemary's book after I show this one. So I think there's some uh, more, little bit maybe. I might have missed them. Um, that might have been the only thing in there. Anyway, there's that. This one is Production Management Science in Industry. More little charts. And this one's got some more, this one's got many more illustrations. So I just thought those were fun. Then, hold on, I'm gonna slide that one under there. This one is flower fairies. I'm like, well, flowers and fairies? How could I not? So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one together or take it apart so you guys can share. It's not out of copyright, so I can't copy it, but I couldn't say no to the fairies. Thanks, Betty. There's that one. This, I wish the whole thing was here because this thing is so neat. It's just bound by this little piece of yarn. It's a paperback, an old Hawaiian garden, 1943. Can you see the flowers embossed on this tissue? Carla, take apart. Yeah, right? I probably will. Wait till you guys see this one. So A, the pages are, you know, not cut at the top. 
This one's copyright 1943, lithographed in the USA. I might be able to do some research and copy these lithographs. Look. So pretty. Some of them are missing, unfortunately, which makes me sad. But I just went nuts when I saw this. Jean's looking through her fingers. Uh, yeah. Like I said, some are missing. But what's really, I mean, there's a couple staples in here. So we could take it apart. So, yeah, I might, um, I will consult with my um, expert in copyright. And maybe she can give me a hand. This is my favorite. The Bird of Paradise. That is my absolute favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. There's, yeah, see, there's only there's only a few in here, so I'd really love to be able to copy them. But like I said, I I probably can't. I thought this cover was pretty, and it is the Intelligent Women's Guide to Socialism and Capitalism. How's that for her? a title? I really just got it for the cover. Oh, Rhonda, you are one lucky girl. You are one lucky girl. Copyright on this is 1928. I don't think there's any illustrations. The bottoms of the pages are deckled. Yeah, there's no illustrations. But like I said, I really just grabbed this one for the cover. I thought the cover was super cool. Yeah. And then I got, I thought I had a couple more than this to check my other stack. These are all speed writing books. So A, the pages are cool, but B, you know, they're small. So I didn't know if you guys would love them for covers. Uh, first published in 1923, then 1950 and 1951. But I don't think they've been used. Donna says a must read. Okay. But I, and look at these pages in the back here where the lessons are, are perforated. That's cool. So I thought we could have fun with these in our journals. Secret code that the kids can't read. I never learned it either. But look, you can now. Look. <laughs> so I got... There's four of those, and then this one is the speed writing dictionary. So there's the word and then the shorthand for it. So that that was neat, you know. They're in alphabetical order and whatnot. Oops, sorry. Okay, good. I'm glad you were joking, Donna. Like, <laughs> oh, funny. All right, let's see what else I got here. We're almost done. We're almost done. I have to show Darla the Japanese book I got for Rosemary. Look, Darla, it's a Japanese cookbook. Okay, Julia, take care, hon. And the paper, it's like, the paper's like, it looks like fabric. Isn't that neat? Yep, I I was like, well, hi, Angie Brown. I said, I, I have to get that for Rosemary. That's got her name all over it. All right, let's see. What else did I find? I found this, and I grabbed this because I really dig the paper, and I didn't think I'd be able to remember the name of it. I'm going to look online for some more. It's called Banana Paper. And look how I never thought about, because I have my mulberry paper, I never thought about running the mulberry paper through the embossing machine. We need to do that. That's what I mean, that's what that looks like to me. Mulberry paper ran through an embossing machine. Uh, well, that's why we're here, Sheila. Um, but it did, I mean, it, this was, it's used, but, um, and let me see. There's a good bit, so I might sell a few sets. So here's the envelope, and they're really thick. There, if you guys can see. But I thought the pattern was pretty. And then here's the paper. 
and it says on the bottom here it says made from real banana fiber yeah banana paper Carla so I need to look that up cool right and no it doesn't smell bad, like bananas I checked <laughs> and then there's the bananas on there yeah I, so I thought that was fun on oh, this side also says made from real banana fiber on the envelope Okay, Angie, thanks for stopping in. It was nice to see you lick it. Peggy, trust me, you guys don't want me licking anything. I'm still at the tail end of the cold. Using banana fiber saves trees. Yeah, true. All right, I got a couple of odd things. So this is a pack. It's tickets. And see how they're, they're perforated? They're like pages of tickets. I don't know. I was just. They're numbers. See? 1, 10, 100. Whole number and decimal secret code cards. Hundreds, tens, ones. Grade five. Well, I thought they'd be perfect for us. I know, right? Queen, King, Pygmy, Date, and Phoenix. What am I missing? Really? Brace from banana leaves. I'm just reading, you guys. Aaron, do you have that icky, nasty cold like I had that knocked me out almost my entire trip? I'm sorry if I missed some chat, you guys. And if you just showed up and wonder what's going on, I am just unpacking my two suitcases and one box and showing you guys the goodies I got. And I'm going to have a sale next weekend. This thing is cool. The notebook of Albert Hubbard. And this jacket, it's all here. It's just not together. <clears throat> Isn't that yummy? So there's that. And then look at it. Look. So pretty. Good idea, Donna. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Aaron. Hey, Aaron, if you did you hear me talking about the place where I went and got the IV bag? So my daughter gets migraines, and my daughter went when she had a migraine and they were able, you just walk in, you tell them I have a migraine. It's not a doctor. It's just an IV place. And um, what they gave her knocked her migraine right out. And it's not cheap. It's like around a hundred dollars, but I don't know. Who is Albert Hubbard? Did somebody answer that question? All right, let's see. There's 1929 written on the inside cover there. Yeah, find a tutorial. Look at the, hang on, let me move something over here so I can wait till we see you guys see what's in this box. You guys are going to flip out. I'm trying to get it closer. I just thought, a, the paper, because it's very thick, but the font and the um, uh, 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 designs, whatever you want to call it. Copyright 1927. All right, let's see. Peggy has it figured out. Oh, I'm sorry, Carla. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> the Notebook of Albert Hubbard. Oh, look, there's a rose, a pressed rose in there. So I just thought this one was fun. So I grabbed this one up and the title pages are gorgeous, aren't they? There's that one. And I got a 
Nickelodeon checkbook. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on. The girls will love it. I have to get that. This check entitles you to blank minutes of homework help. This check entitles you to one game of blank at recess or after school. I thought it was cute. Yeah, SpongeBob. Hold on. Let me check my phone real quick. Oh, it was just Amazon. All right, all right, you guys. So I'm still researching this. It's pretty amazing. Before I pull it out, I'm going to tell you it is four foot by five foot. It is a Vietnamese silk hand embroidered piece of. Okay, wait. Hold on. Popo. We're going to need photographs of your pink peachy cheap order. That's funny. You you can't make that up. You can't make that up. Susan would be one of those people that says, tell us the only color of stuff you don't want so we don't send it to you, and they send it to her. Okay, so anyway, it's Vietnamese silk hand-embroidered piece and it is four foot by five foot it's going to take me a minute to kind of move it all under the camera to show you guys i'm going to take it probably outside tomorrow when it's nice out and lay it out and get some good pictures and i'll put on my facebook are you guys ready the box itself is super cool right and there's all the it's got all kinds of paperwork You guys just wait for it. Just find a, a good way to. You guys don't even know. I mean, this is this isn't even. This is just a smidge. I'm gonna hold it up really close. This is all silk embroidery floss, hand done. All right, I'm gonna start moving it so you guys can see the whole thing. Oh, all right. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go this way. There's the signature of the person who did it. Isn't it something? And it's all peacock. It's peacocks. Hold on. This way. That way. Oh, welcome back, Sandra. And the flowers, right, I'm going to go up close real quick so you can see. Yeah, so I've been, I've been researching this. I got it about a week ago. I've been doing some research on it. Um, I mean, I, you, you guys can guess that this was not a cheap purchase that I made. But it is just, I mean, look at this tree. Isn't that stunning? All the different shades. Let me show you guys the back. Hand, not machine. Hand. Isn't that something? I don't have, I'm in an itty bitty house, Sheila. I wish I had some place to hang this. I do not. Um, I would hope someone, if someone would like to purchase it, they would purchase it to hang it up. If someone is going to cut this up, I would probably have a fit. Look at that. But I couldn't pass it up because I figured one of you might fall in love with it. Cool, Carla. Okay, Peggy, I absolutely will. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's pricey for sure. Yeah, but this piece, is, it's completely square. Let me show you one of the corners. It's completely square, and it's like on, um, to me, this feels like polyester. It looks like maybe somebody had it hung or stretched on something at one point. There's, sorry for the glare. Yeah, no cutting. Dorinda, where? Hi, Dorinda. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you did. <coughs> one minute. <coughs> I have to get a drink or I'm going to have a coughing attack. Oh, goodness. Let me just one quick second.
yeah, so this this one, I'm like I said, tomorrow I'm going to get some picture, pictures of it outside. I'll put them up on the Facebook page so you guys can see the whole thing. I'm glad you came, Jorinda. You have to you have to uh, replay the video so you can see all the goodies that I got. I'm gonna try and have a sale sometime over not this weekend but next weekend. All right, let's see. I got a few more things. If you guys you guys want to see the rest, or are you bored? Because I'll show it all to you. I will show it all. Oh, there's another. There's. I thought I had one more of the speed writing books, and then. After I show you guys all this stuff, if you guys want to see the bag of books my daughter brought me back from Italy. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That's all I can say. No, they're not for sale. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not in 100 million years would they be for sale. But I will show them to you guys for sure. For sure. Okay, Laura. All right. I also got these are musical. They're from the Musical Dictionary Company, and I know you guys are going to love these. They're music flashcards. Look. They're not that old, 1969, 1984. But I thought they were super fun. There is Sheila. <gasps> Cute, right? So, yeah, so I got those. So, I thought you guys would like those. I didn't even look at the little book. Oh, it's a music dictionary. Oh, we'll probably do that one separate. Okay, I got a Roman numeral. Ready, Darla? MCM XXXV. MCM XXXV. 1935. Oh, cool. Thanks. Look at you girls go. Can't copy it. Darn it. Darn it. All right. So this was just another one of the shorthand books. So this looks like, oh, it looks like letters. And then you had to turn it into shorthand maybe. Yep, dictation course, letters for dictation. So that's fun. We can put letters in our journals, right? So there's that one. Um, this one is a field guide. You know, just the good old field guide like we always like. If I could turn the pages. They keep skipping the good pages. I'm sure this one had some colored pages in it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. There we go. I knew it did. Yeah, so that one's just a field guide. And let's see if I can find a copyright on that one. 1934. So there's that one. <laughs> this one. Elephants in the garden. And I just got it because of the elephants. Oh, are you guys going to have a pink party? From Pinky Cheap? <laughs> okay, Jorinda, thanks, hon. And rewatch the video if you want something to do later. I love that. Isn't that neat? Library book, district number, and a, and a number. I might have to just, I could, I could copy that without getting in trouble. <laughs> Peggy, I'll do them in packs so everybody can get a few, okay? Oh, shoot. Well, it's copyright 1958, but does that mean that the, that the library book is not copyrighted? You guys think? I love little labels. I'm trying to get a bunch of little labels so I can do a label digi in the, for the shop. But I just thought it was cute because it was an elephant. Elephants. Elephants. 
Yeah, I don't know if it'll be Friday or Saturday because Katie's on on Friday. Unless I do, maybe I'll do um, an early book sale Friday. I don't know. I can't even think straight yet, you guys. I seriously am still out of it. All right, this one barely has a spine. I found the other, I found this piece of it in my husband's suitcase. <laughs> He's like, uh, I found a spine. Do you want this? <laughs> I said, yes, please. Yes, I need that. Let's see. Oh, upside down. Oh, yes, right. Okay, it'll be Saturday. I'm not doing anything Friday. It'll be Saturday. This is History of the United States. 1874. <laughs> right, Sheila? Um, I think this is the one I told you guys last time I'm not partnering with. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to be in here. I took it with me to Alaska because I was going to try and work on some books and I didn't. So that's mine. And you can't have this one either. I made some of Rosemary's tape, but I used the, um, the wide packing tape. This brown, this brown stuff was already on there, this stuff right here. And there's some regular size tape, but I did some of the wide tape because the spine was coming off of this and it would, then there was a tear back here. So I just used it to reinforce the spine of this book. And then I'm going to gut it and use this for a journal cover. Everything that isn't seen. Oh. I love the faux tape. I love it. All right. This one is literature and life. And I'm, I love green books. So, again, this one was mostly. I bought this for the cover. I thought you guys might like it. Oh, my stomach's growling. Sorry. It's copyright 1936. But it's got some neat illustrations in it. Geez, between my stomach and the thunder, can you guys even hear me? Yeah, that is a pretty marbled book, I know. I will, um, what was the copyright? Yeah, I'll scan this one and make this one a digi. Here, let me put that in the scan pile. Where's my other? There it is. I've got to get better at that. I do, I do. Um, all right, what else? Do I, I got a couple more things, and then I'll show you guys the books from Italy, and then I have to go cook dinner. I gotta get back on Florida time. I got some. Now, I don't know. Is there a, a resident fabric expert around? Who did I miss? Thanks, Laura. Um, I got this because they said it was ticking. But I've never seen a ticking cloth like this. That I mean, it just looks like cotton to me. So I need to know if I'm right or wrong. It feels like cotton. Is it just the pattern? Is that why they call it ticking cloth? Hi, Gail. So I, I will share this with you guys. Um, I got it because I'm going to use it for... Instead of making paper tabs for my junk journal planners, I'm going to use, okay, Darla, thanks. I'm going to make little tabs for the begin, for the each month out of these, um, out of this fabric. But I'm going to try and hand stamp, you know, the abbreviation for the month right between the lines. So like J-A-N for January right in here and then stitch this to the edge of the page of the tab. But I will share. I got three yards, so I will share it with you guys. So that's what I got that for. And I got, and I'm clearly on a bird kick because I got more bird cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got more. And they tell about, like, so the Canadian goose. It tells about each bird so i figured i'd make some packs of bird cards for you guys oh okay all right so i'm not wrong thank you gail so 
Sorry, I'm just reading. It can be cotton or linen. Okay, all right, thank you. Um, and I think there's three different colors of these, yeah. So there's a, like a top taupe, taupe color, a blue and a green. So I just thought I'd make some packs of these for you guys, of these bird cards. Pretty, right? And ones like this that have need info on the back, you know, I hate to make a pocket or something out of it because, or I hate to like put blank paper on the back because I wouldn't want to cover that up. But um, Laura, we can make your flippy floppies with these, right? Because I know that Laura needs more cards, more napkins, and what else does she need, Laura? <laughs> and Betty, too. I know Betty is probably out of napkins. All right, let's see. What do I have? I have... And then do you guys want to see the one that I'm not going to sell you? <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. I'm going to just let... Oh, hi, Gina. Flippy flops. All right, there's the one I'm not selling. I have to make this one into a journal. And look at this, where this is where a book sat on it. Part of that book is still here. But I'm like, uh, this is going to make a super cool, super cool journal. But... I like you guys enough that I will share the pages. How's that for a trade? I'm looking for a date. Pretty though, right? Pretty writing, pretty pages. Yeah, so this one's going to make a cool journal. So this one's going to be all me, 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 mine. This one, I'd never seen that design before. So I grabbed this one up. And this one, is it this one or the other one? One of them is full of goodies. It must be the other one. Um, I'm, I'm not sure on this one if I'm just going to share pages. I'm, after I got that, here, let me just grab it. After I got that journal from Rosemary. One moment, I'm getting it. Here's the back of it. After I got this from Rosemary, it just, I fell in love with, how amazing, isn't it pretty? It's my elephant journal from Rosemary that I bought from her. Um, I just fell in love at how cool these look. And I know I could use, you know, my book board like I do and make journals like, you know, this big or whatever. But you cannot, I don't care how good you are, you can't reproduce the grungy. You just can't. You just can't. And... The ledgers are getting harder and harder to find. So, all right. Is anybody here? I'm just going to say hi to make sure this is still on. Nobody's typed anything. I don't want to talk to myself. Anyway, so I'm not sure about this cover. I may, I may let this one go. And then here's this one. This one, I'm fairly certain that I will... Um, sell as a whole this effect without this ephemera i'm going to make i'm going to put this ephemera in one of those bundles there's some cool i'll scan this so we can all have laundry laundry tags how fun is that okay good oh good oh <laughs> so yeah there's all kinds of fun stuff here so I'm going to check this pile. If there's some stuff I can scan, I'll scan it first. This is a giant pattern book. Look. So pretty. So pretty. All right. So those are the three ledgers. And then I do have, if you guys go... Remember the last sale, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five ledgers that I still have some paper left. 
and some of that paper. Raise your hand if you got the biggest ledger sheets you've ever had in your life from the last sale. Hi, Kristen's Crafts. How are you? All right. And then, oops, there we go. Here is the, this is a giant bundle. Look at these. Ah, they're very brittle. This is what I'm going to make some ephemera bundles out of for you guys. There's a few small books. There's tons of checks and letters. Look at this little guy. This is, it's the checkbook. Hold on. There. Oh, there's canceled checks. Look at this. Look. 1922. So this one will auction off. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. I will answer you as soon as I get done here, Vanessa. <gasps> Who's here? Cheryl? Did I say Cheryl? Hi, Cheryl. I'm unpacking. Yes, Donna, they're pink. We'll send some to Hottie. I know you need covers, Hottie. I just, it's so hard for me to part with them. I'm not having a sale today, Julie. Hi. I'm just unpacking, and I thought I would unpack with you guys. If you go back and watch the video, I'm this is like I'm just finishing up. Um, this is just a big, huge bundle of ephemera that I got. And here's another checkbook. So if it's like, you know, like this, we'll we'll do these separate. But I'll do some ephemera bundles for you guys. Look at this pile. It just goes on and on. I thought this was neat. A 1928, the Oddfellows Orphans Home of Central Pennsylvania reports of officers and committees. Cool, right? Uh-oh, here's a pink envelope. We can send that to Susan. And hi to anybody I missed or any comments I missed. You guys, that between the jet lag and a little bit of cold, I am just goofy. Look at these, so pretty, right? And I really want to get um, a junk journal planner made this week so then you guys could see what it looks like before I put the digi kit in the shop. Oh, that's great, Gail. Oh, please get that information to Susan, will you? She needs covers. She needs two that are the same. That's the hard part, Susan. But see, this pile just goes on and on. There's another just check stubs in there. What's this? this is some receipts. Oops. Well, hello. There. Get in the camera view, Johnny. Ledger cover, Cheryl. Yep, she wants ledger covers. And I've been getting stingy with mine. Sorry. All right. That's all of my goodies. Now do you guys want to see the books my daughter brought me from Italy? Look. 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 Just look in the bag. Look. Hey, Keisha. Thanks, Laura. Look at them. And she brought me a fancy bottle of wine, but I haven't drank it yet because I don't want to drink it when I'm sick. Excuse me. Because I really want to be able to taste it. You know what I mean? All right. I haven't heard a peep out of my husband, which means he's falling asleep on the back patio. So he's not he's not going to help his jet lag cause any. So she was um, taking stuff out of her suitcase and pulling stuff out of bags. And, and she went, went like this and pulled something out of this bag. And then she went like this to crinkle this up and throw it away. Like, stop. Do not throw that bag in the garbage. Give me that bag. Crazy. Crazy child. <clears throat> I had to stop her. which is super cool. 
Oh, shoot. I'm sorry you guys are buffering. Look at the tiny little letters. What? Why? How come I'm not buffering? YouTube. Shoot. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. We beat the buffer. Yay. Oh, cool. Keisha might have ledger covers, you guys. Right on. All right. So this is the littlest one. Not used to the camera being over here. So stinking cute. Don't know. I can't tell you guys any of the words. And these are mine for keeps forever. Very nice of her to lug these all the way back from Italy with her. Oh, look at the corner of that page isn't cut. Just a very, very... This one's just words. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at... Aren't they neat? 1888 on this one. So cool. And I might... um scan them, you know, scan the covers and like a few pages or something and make little kits for the shop. Or that might be fun. Can't read the words. Thanks. Oh, this is a reader. That's right. Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah. Second French reader. That's right. It's got some neat illustrations in it. How fun is that? And she has no idea about like what type. Not again with the buffering. Uh, boo. All right, anyway, for those of you that aren't buffering, here's a wonderful reader. And like I said, she had no idea what to get. She was just grabbed me a few. And I think she said she pay, paid 50 euros for these altogether. So that wasn't too bad. And this one's a soft cover. And then here's the big one. And that pretty. It's a, I can see literature, literature, 1924. But. You know, to know that they came all the way from Italy and she got them for me. And yeah, it just makes them all that much more special. So that's those. Those are my those are my treasures and my bottle of wine. I won't be sharing any of it with you guys. So sorry. <laughs> anyway, here's Rosemary's Japanese cookbook. If you didn't get to see it, I had to get I had to get it for her in my travels. A Japanese cookbook from Alaska. Who knew? French literature. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Um, it is six o'clock here. I am going to go uh, whip up some dinner and sit in my easy chair and chill out. And um, I have to do some adulting the next couple days. But Susan, let me know tomorrow. No, Keisha, you may not. <laughs> If, if you need a if you need a stand in tomorrow, Popo, let me know. <laughs> or if if Laura gets her phone fixed, let me know. <laughs> oh shoot! But you guys, yeah. Thanks for visiting. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Um, that's all really. I think I have some adulting I need to do the next couple of days. You know, from just getting home, and I really want to get a planner done, and get that digi in the shop. And have a sale next weekend. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. Sandra is asking if there's a Pete and repeat show tomorrow. I know that repeat's phone died. So you have to talk to Pete. Yeah, rewatch it, Keisha. You can see the huge pile I had on the table in the beginning. You can go on with your iPad, Laura. I'm going to I'm going to make her do it. You're welcome, you guys. Yeah, for sure. All right, everybody. Have a marvelous weekend.
All right. And I will see you guys really soon. Thanks, Betty. Bye, guys.